So now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at voltage dividers. We're going to be using a fixed value resistor, so we're going to get a fixed voltage, but um, we're going to have two points that we can connect to when it comes to the divided voltage right there. Um, so we'll have two possibilities. Um, you can have two resistors to make a voltage divider or uh, many resistors. The main thing is wherever you are taking your measurement, this isn't meant to power something directly generally you uh, take a measurement or look at that voltage with circuitry or some way and do something with it um, but uh, we're gonna measure it with the meter here so um, you're gonna have a point that you go to and uh, depending on how much resistance goes to the positive side versus the negative side you're gonna get a fraction of the total voltage of the circuit so you could use a battery for this um, of course this voltage is gonna change over time or uh, you could use like a power supply or something. The voltage source doesn't matter. What matters is the voltage that's being applied to the circuit. So um, we're gonna use 10K resistors in this one right there. And um, so that's going to uh, split up since they're equal value right there. We're gonna get two thirds of the supply voltage. This is closer to the positive supply because you can see there's less resistance towards the positive supply versus the negative supply right there. Um, so a third of the resistance is to the positive supply. So we're one third of the way away from the positive supply. Hopefully that makes sense. Two thirds of the resistance is to the uh, negative supply right there. So the number is two thirds of the way away from the negative supply, closer to the positive supply. So we'll get that six volts in this case. Uh, whereas down here we have the opposite, closer to the negative supply. So it's a lower voltage, uh, three volts in this case. It's harder um, for current to come from the positive supply right there. Um, so it's gonna divide up the voltage. Ultimately, current's going around the circuit right there, but uh, the meter will uh, be able to measure what the uh, voltage is at that point. Uh, so again, same thing with six volts. This one I drew more just as kind of a, a power supply instead of a battery in and out of the battery. Uh, we got the negative or the positive jumper right there. Sometimes that's referred to as VCC. And then we got the uh, negative side of the power supply right there, uh, commonly referred to as ground. Sometimes you'll see a ground symbol on schematics like that um, right there to indicate that's ground, uh, even if you're using the battery. Um, so not earth ground, but ground for the circuit. And uh, so in any case, again, six volts there, closer to the positive supply, we're gonna have four volts, two thirds of that voltage. And um, we got one third there. So this is easy math here. These uh, equal value resistors if you're using uh, resistors that are not equal value or you know a weird uh, supply voltage where it's not going to come out to a nice uh, round number um there's uh, formulas for that but we're not going to worry about that in this video so now we got the power supply set to nine volts power is off though right now um that may be a problem you run into from time to time where uh you know circuits not working you're wondering why first thing you should do is measure the uh, supply uh rail voltage and there you can see if i had an led that didn't light up or something um there's uh, basically no voltage but this particular power supply there is a quirk with it where it actually outputs a slightly negative voltage right there so we will actually get a negative uh, fraction right there um, if uh, you don't have a power supply that outputs a negative and you see a negative you probably have the probes backwards um, so it's uh, this voltage the uh, red one in relationship to the black one Thought I would mention that really quick. Okay, so got the power supply on, and now you can see, you know, just a little bit shy of nine volts. We are uh, dividing up the power a little bit where we got resistance and connections and stuff. That's probably the main factor, and that may not be 100% accurate uh, right there. But in any case, closer to the uh, positive supply in relationship to ground right there, we have two thirds of the supply voltage, six volts out of nine, and then we got three volts out of nine right there. So that is with the nine volts. And uh, we looked at six volts as well. Same thing, it doesn't matter. Um, so this is, uh, you know, one way you could kind of track the, uh, what the supply voltage is. So um, there's circuitry that won't always respond to what the supply voltage is um, for one reason or another, but uh, maybe two thirds of the supply voltage it can uh, register. So there we go, we got two thirds at six, out of six is four. And then one third out of six, of course, is two. And of course, we got uh, the nine again. So um, 
This is uh, like the 555 timer. I don't know the value of the resistance, but it has uh, three resistances of equal value to get uh, two thirds of the supply voltage and one third. You hear people talk about that a lot. At the two thirds though, um, you can adjust that two third uh, voltage. And uh, so we got six volts there. If we adjust that voltage, um, we add uh, resistance one way or the other to raise or lower it. If uh, we uh, lowered it to uh, five volts, then, uh, you know, at this point here, then this point down there um, would be 2.5 volts instead of three. This will always be half if you uh, adjust the voltage up there because now we got the two resistors. Um, so in any case, um, that comes up, uh, there's a pin, pin number five is a control pin. Um, if you've learned about that 555 timers already, and that's what they're referring to. That pin is a direct connection to where the two thirds supply uh, voltage is. So it's really important to be familiar with this circuit um, before you learn about that. Um, but in any case, if that didn't make any sense, don't worry about it. So um, yeah, that's it uh, for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I usually set the power supply down to a five volt. Um, just so if I wire something up, I generally assume it's five volts at the power supply. I shouldn't. I should always look at the voltage, but uh, I don't want to fry something by applying too much voltage to a circuit. Um, and I usually assume it's five volts um, until I change it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.